Hello. Good evening. <laughs> Here we all are again. <laughs> um, right. Um, no word from the council. Some of you keeping up may know that, um, well, if any of you are keeping up, um, <laughs> I'm not sure I'm keeping up, to be honest. Uh, some of you may know I'm waiting for their pretend uh, committal order so that they can go to the court with their vote and paid for magistrate and commit me to prison. <sighs> really? Um, others may know, of course, that I am banned from contact in the council, so I cannot legally send them any money. So they still tried to work that one out, I feel. I don't, might be tomorrow. I don't know. Um, so, <laughs> I was a bit disappointed when I got back tonight because I was expecting that. Um, so then I opened Hunt's Post, which is always a source of entertainment. It's featured a few times on this channel. Um, and it's disputes to blame after councillor loses his seat. Um, now, this is a guy called Ken Churchill, um, who was Tory when I was a councillor. And in fact, I came up with an idea, uh, foolishly, apparently, to save the taxpayer money by getting rid of large swathes of, of council workers um, who did nothing. Um, and it, it was mocked in a private Tory party members meeting. And Ken Churchill said, because I think there was, there was a by-election or something coming up at the time, and Ken Churchill said, uh, with the by-election coming up, would members please be careful what they put in the press? And that was me, you see. This is when the paper was still publishing the letters. <laughs> so he's now switched to UKIP. I didn't know this. Um... And he's now being kicked out because uh, you have to attend a certain amount of meetings, uh, or at least one meeting, I think it is, in a six-month period. Um, and he hasn't because, well, he says he attended meetings with council officers and on behalf of constituents and chose not to attend any of the eight man mandated meetings. Fucking unsupposed. Should be man mandatory meetings because of an ongoing dispute with council officers. Um, he will not be standing again. He had no confidence in some of the senior officers at Huntingdonshire District Council. That's funny. Only a few years ago, he was telling me to shut up <laughs> and stop producing silly ideas like saving the taxpayer money. <laughs> He's obviously had a bit of a change of heart. Um, but soon you have to respect. One of the problems is I don't have any respect for certain. Ooh, cert I don't have any respect for certain officers at the district council. Wonder if our friend Ian Sims is in there. <laughs> um, problem started in October. Oh, that's concern over his parish. Uh, he also believes the decision was driven by the majority of the Conservative group on the District Council. Yes, well, I think, Ken, <laughs> that may be a bit of karma, mate. <laughs> um, so that's great. I mean, it's changed to you, Kip. I mean, that's great. I've got no argument with that. Um, there should be different different political arguments being put across the, the sphere, you know. Um and now he's found out what they're really like. And yet there he was telling me not to put things in the press to save the taxpayer money. Oh dear. No, I don't feel sorry for you at all, Ken. 
Right, as we know, Ian Sims at the council is the chief constable's boss. That's pretty much been confirmed by lack of reply. So, I shall keep you updated with developments. But thank you, Mr Churchill, for that.